name's uh, Daniel Maffe. Uh, I'm a painter. Uh, I work as a senior lecturer in visual arts at QUT and I'm also heavily involved in practice-led research. Uh, to describe what my work involves, it's gone through a number of changes over the last few years, um, but each of them have revolved around a, a kind of core concern, in the end what I would call silence. And what it means is that the work doesn't immediately dissolve into meaning. It's not kind of explicitly about any particular thing. It just sort of suspends the viewer, it makes them query and uh, wonder what it is they're, they're viewing, why they're being asked to view it. Inspirations, I think, can come from so many areas. It could be books, it could be material, i.e. textiles, it can be music, film, reading. This is at the heart of the practice in a way. Uh, the fact that it's a, a response to nature, culture, and what it is to live and breathe. I don't see art making as just purely private activity. Uh, so I have a very strong creative relationship with my wife. Uh, she's also an artist and uh, we're, we're actively involved in one another's uh, creative lives. And I think without that, um, the whole thing would become a really, well, like a desert, a, a cultural desert. One of the things that a university offers that is fascinating to me is that it actually opens up a kind of intellectual advocacy. It means that you don't become just a passive producer of work, but you actually start to take on board the questions of why you make, and you also take on board the questions of why someone should look at it, why someone should bother. Um, you know, that one's environment in terms of professional environments, i.e. the university, um, actually starts to have a strong and interactive um, and positive say in what it is that you do and how you do it.